In contrast to something like this, the tiny little micro bag and look at that size difference. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Today's video is all about the jumbo size classic flap and whether it is still a relevant size bag to get. It is the trend to be downsizing to the micro size bag and I'm a huge, huge fan of it myself. But at the end of the day, a classic is still a classic. So is this size still relevant? Do we still love the jumbo size or are we more into the small or medium large? Is this size kind of obsolete now or is it just gonna come back and it's a matter of time? Here is a visual size difference between the small and the jumbo. Of course, we are not gonna be really concentrating on the small flap as I already have a video all about the small flap today is all about the jumbo especially from the point of view of styling it you can be the judge whether you like the way how this bag looks with all the different styles of outfit of course i'm a huge fan of the micro trend but i also think that it works for me and my lifestyle and i just love how weightless it is basically i just love how liberated i feel and i will be doing more videos on this trend and why i love it so much and so uh, that's coming up but for the time being i wanted to talk about the jumbo because if you watch my luxury live show that i co-host with cat actually just last week's episode had karis lv lover cc as one of the guests that came and we shared our top luxuries and top regret purchases. It was just so interesting to see Karis herself say that one of her regrets sort of speak is her jumbo flap because like I said, the trend now is to downsize further and further and further to the point where the bags no longer even fit phones. But it just begs the question, is the jumbo flap ever going to become the it bag again because it was the it bag for many many years in the early 2000s i would say or even before that i guess my personal take is that because fashion recycles and is cyclical it is a matter of time that i feel like the jumbo size will come back into full force again however i do also think that with the modern days and with everything being digitized there's a lot of things that with the modern days it actually pushes our everyday lifestyle to become more and more simple and therefore even little tiny bags like this does work of course not for everyone and maybe not for every day but in a sense i do believe that larger size serious bags will become less and less relevant over the years as we modernize even further just because the modern woman does not need to carry that many things anymore of course there is the uh, individual that carries the handbag usually they would try to go for a bag size that kind of works more with their body frame and height that alone should be enough to keep the size around for a very very long time i mean it is not that big after all it just happens to be one of the largest size and i feel like the reason why so many people got into the jumbo myself included is because at the time the largest flap even on a very slim frame or build was also a trend just the fact that you're wearing an oversized bag for your own body is a trend in itself and therefore even the maxi was such a big big trend not just because larger size bags are more common and practical but also just because the trend of wearing something way oversized way bigger than your body is the trend at the time that reason alone fashion being cyclical and recycling every few years maybe a bit faster nowadays that fact alone i feel like the jumbo size is not going anywhere another very strong argument as to why certain individuals myself included prefer to downsize further and further therefore making this size bag less relevant for us is the fact that they are heavier 
larger bags are heavier and as you age unfortunately you will nevertheless find things a bit too heavy for your shoulders that are achy on a constant basis and even younger individuals are now having more and more health issues arise just because of inactivity and just more sedentary lifestyles so health does play a huge factor into the size and weight of bag that one prefers to carry even if you have the same content inside which I don't normally even carry that much therefore even the space is a bit irrelevant to me because I carry less and less just because I prefer to keep things light, uh, so light that I basically carry a little wallet when I'm on the go, a wallet that doesn't even fit a phone because I know wallets on chains are also very light, but they are still bulky enough that I feel like it doesn't give me the same feeling that I get when I carry something like this. When this is on my body and it can sit inside my coat, I just don't really feel it. I know it's there, but I just don't really feel it. And it's a very, very liberating feeling, like I said earlier. So this being the total opposite of it in terms of weight and even size, it just makes it more and more irrelevant for me. But it could also be a personal preference to just carry less and to have less of a heavy weight on your body on a constant basis. Is this size bag for someone like me enough to let it go? Because after all, as we've discussed many, many times, Chanel bags are going up in price. And so if I do decide to part with this bag, would that be a good decision? Because that is something that I still struggle myself, that I still have boomerang feelings about whether it is a good idea to part with it because it is a classic. So let's go down the list, right? The pros and the cons. Pro is a classic. It's a timeless piece. It's a black caviar, single flat, which is no longer made anymore. I got it at a much better price than the current retail. And finally, it is in such great condition because even if you were to buy pre-love, it doesn't mean that you'll always end up with a great condition, one that you're happy with, right? So there's all these pros. Now the cons are that maybe this size bag is less irrelevant to me because of the weight, because of the actual size. Yes, it looks great. It looks oversized on a petite frame, which is so cool and casual. But do I need to be like that? Do I need to be cool and casual with a bag that is, you know, still bothers me in terms of weight and not so much the size, but the weight will bother me. So am I just holding on? Am I just having FOMO? And also, am I just scared that if I let it go that I will then miss it because I will never know until I find out and by that time it would be too late so these thoughts always is back and forth back and forth in my head and i have heard arguments from both sides and even i can make them myself but that really begs the question is this bag still relevant and even if it's relevant is it okay to just let go and just be at peace with the fact that i can just admire it from someone else his body and Instagram. <laughs> if I ever let this bag go, just like any other bags that I have let go in the past, I will most certainly not buy it again because that would just be silly. Why let it go in the first place, right? So yeah, let me know how you guys feel about the jumbo size classic flap. I know it's still a very, very sought after bag, uh, even size, but definitely trending a little less popular than in the past but um i obviously still love it enough that i can't part with it yet
let me know down below in the comments do you still have yours and honestly would you still even buy a classic flop because we all know they are so expensive now even the small size is is arguably not worth it either it doesn't matter what size you get jumbo medium small they are arguably past that line where it's like yeah it's very very hard to pull the trigger and if you do pull the trigger it must be that good i hope that you enjoyed today's little chit chat and the modeling footages if you're brand new to my channel i would love to have you back so please don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell like this video and also you can support me by becoming a channel member like i said earlier i have a live stream show that i host with my co-host kat every single week and by becoming members you also get access to exclusive content anyway thank you so much have a great day ahead of you and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye